was good, guys. I'm banned for Neon's like kick. You know, we were on pace to have the biggest um, subathon, 30 day, 24 7 stream in history, and it banned me. So it is what it is. I'll see y'all in Miami. I am very sad, and you know, I'm just gonna just sit here in silence for three days, and we're gonna come back with a bang. See y'all soon. Yesterday, Neon's life destroyed overnight. Braces have an age limit. As you can tell, I remember seeing. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I saw that clip right there. Him putting him in a headlock, like literally last night on on Twitter, bro. Riveting content. Really unfortunate that we're gonna miss out on it from Neon. But in all seriousness, this is OC Neon. If you're unaware, he's a kick streamer and he is having a 30 day subathon, which is like one of the phase subathons where he just has cameras going all the time and is trying to provide content throughout those 30 days. Unfortunately, that content had got him banned. Not one specific thing, but multiple things. He's been banned twice because of this and even had a camera crew quit on him because of terrible working conditions. But I'm gonna bring that's crazy. everything that's happened so far the best way to start off would be to show you what the subathon was like it was in no way organized planned or anything like that i mean most of the time it was just pure chaos like this where a fight broke out between ice spice and neon's girlfriend what what the f put that down no for real put that down no i'm serious i'm about to really no for real oh what is happening when did this happen why was i never aware of this bro hold on when did ice spice fight this girl what <laughs> With very aggressive content or what lack thereof, like this, there was planned to be some issues going into it. But what Neon probably didn't expect was the first issue he had was his camera. Nah, bro, I never thought I'd ever see. I never thought I'd ever see uh, Ice Spice actually get into a fight. <laughs> That's kind of crazy, bro. We're quitting on him. That's right. In the first few she, days of his subathon, I mean, his whole camera. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. They didn't really even fight, bro. They were just throwing food at each other. That was a food fight, bro. That, that's like elementary shit, bro. What? Come on now. I thought y'all was gonna throw hands. Crew had quit on him and were not only just leaving, but also ignoring him when he was asking them what was going on. And that was Neon's girlfriend? This dude actually has a girlfriend? Like, speak to me for two seconds. Bro. Can someone speak for me for, with me for two seconds, please? Nah, bro. Camera crew's out of here. Can I talk to you for a minute, bro, please? Thank you, dog. I know what happened. It's because they got mad because I was talking. But it's, I wasn't, like, in that type of way. It was just... Oh, I mean, bro, they're outside in the heat, and all you got is a fucking window fan, bro. All you got is a fan, bro. No way There's AC? no way they just leave like that. They're under contract, no? I don't know how that works, man. I don't know how this industry works. Like, the whole thing is scuffed, bro. Like, we've been putting out fires nonstop. It's like every little thing is, a, is an obstacle. Now, maybe if this was anybody else besides Neon, you could feel a little bit bad for them. But when you're providing poor working conditions, allegedly, and don't know for sure, but that was apparently the reason, and talking bad about your employees that are trying to help you, I would not be surprised if they would just up and leave you like nah, that. Yeah, it kind of only crazy. makes sense. And the fact that they're basically disrespecting the hell out of him, he's asking them, hey, can anybody tell me anything? Hey, can anybody say something? And they're just walking past him as if he does not exist or as if he's invisible. It just takes a kick. And honestly, what makes this a lot funny. funnier is that film crew leaving was wasn't the worst of his issues. Instead, what was going to be the worst of his issues was the fact that he couldn't even film where he was anymore. Anymore? Um, they f pulled all of our licenses in LA. Um, we cannot film in LA anymore. We're leaving the city. We're going to go to another city or another cut, another state. I don't know what we're doing. We're going to figure it out. We have to leave Los Angeles. Um, dog, you got to leave the state. The whole committee. I don't know what the type of game. They got going on, but they kicked us out of LA basically. We're, we we have no dire di 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 destruction to, to film here anymore. Dire destruction? What the heck? Is, what the? F okay, bro. Dire destruction is a crazy word that I've never heard in my life before. Also, I mean, dude, the type of stuff you make, the this, the type of content this dude makes is like, bro, this was this was bound to happen at some point. I'm just surprised it didn't happen earlier.
more. We have 24 hours to leave this house. So with that being said, I'm going to be hosting the craziest party Bro's in a menace. LA history tonight. Uh, I'm going to try to get around 2,000 people, the craziest DJ, the craziest performers. I'm going to have the craziest night of my life tonight. I'm going to get like crazy as possible to happen tonight, okay? Um, and I'm going to make sure that uh, you know, I, I go out with a bang, you know? Um, so I'm going to get streamed or You would think not having a plan would be spell for disaster, but obviously Neon didn't think that and everything was just crumbling in front of him because of it. And normally in situations like this, you would want to feel bad for the person, but I mean, it's, it's neon, neon, so it's kind of hard. <laughs> we literally said the same thing. It's, it's neon. <laughs> And normally in situations like this, you would want to feel bad for the person, but I mean, it's neon. So it's kind of hard to feel bad for someone exactly like Neon, but most recent takes are saying it's that neon. the 9 to 5 isn't as hard as him streaming and him being the one that faked his own for clout. When it comes to people yeah, like that, that it's kind of hard to feel bad in any way. You just kind of sit back and watch as their downfall just crumbles in front of them. But that would not be the end of all things going wrong. As his most Look, I don't ever wish... I don't ever wish for anyone's downfall. Like, I know people joke around, like, praying for a downfall. I never wish ill will on people i never wish death upon people but like it's like sometimes some people it's like you fuck around and you find out bro recent ban that happened was because someone named prime was going crazy on his live stream from going around basically saying he doesn't care about any white people to crashing out on basically anybody that he comes in contact with not only oh that happened on a neon stream that's why he showed it at the and beginning I was like, what the also heck? when they had went out to have fun but it all starts with this clip right here that's telling me to look at ivy's stream and it's her in the room with Yo! Bro, he's tripping, dog. Chill out, clip, bro. As you can tell, Prime walked over to somebody who was just chilling and ripped his shirt off, which he assumed was him just playing around, messing around, having fun for stream, providing some content that he could just laugh at and find entertaining. But what would be crazy though is the way he would retaliate afterwards. Obviously, if Prime can just come up and rip his shirt off without him doing anything, he thought he could come and do something just as funny to entertain oh, stream. And that's shit. what he did, but it just did not turn out well at all. Let me. Oh shit. Now he really gonna crash out. Okay, I saw this part. I remember this part. You don't have to go. You just trying to throw me out. Bro, you just ripped my shirt off. Bro, I'll give you the f. Don't touch my neck like this. I don't have money, bro. I don't have money. Prime him. Now I'm the same mindset as Prime. If somebody came up to me for no apparent reason and then did that to me, I'm mad as hell. I might crash out too. What are you talking about? This ain't no joke. The only difference between me and Prime is I said unprovoked for no reason. Prime unprovoked, just went up to yeah. him a couple seconds ago and ripped his shirt off for no apparent reason. He Literally. was just chilling there and just came up and ripped his shirt off. So I don't know how he's getting mad when somebody comes and messes around and jokes with him doing that. And he got furious because of it. And dude was trying to say the same thing. Bro, it's just a I hate people like that, bro. When they do some shit and then get the exact same thing in return and then get pissed about it. Like, bro, come so on. Why are you so mad? Why are you doing this and that? Because that's basically the standard he set. He just wanted to up it, have a little bit of entertainment for stream, a little spice in there. But that spice did not turn out well. His prime started crashing out even more, getting more mad. Bro, you gotta put your feet on. I was gonna oh. knock his ass out. I was gonna knock your ass out. Bitch! Yeah, you wait, 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 Okay, but you, you were choking me. It wasn't for a bro, just because you ripped my shirt off. Right. Do it right here. Let's do it right here. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Prime a bitch, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Prime, you a bitch ass nigga, bro. Oh my god. Energy is only directed at a person that put him you in a bitch a ass nigga for that, bro. But no, that energy was not directed just towards him. It was anybody and everyone that was around him at the time. Oh, I'm just letting you know. Oh, you a bitch ass nigga, Prime. No, nah, I don't even give a fuck, bro. How lucky you is, I will knock you the fuck. Crushing out, bro. I am. How about that? I am. On my dead home. I don't give a. F I don't give. That's a some bitch ass nigga energy. I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't care. That's some bitch ass nigga energy, bro. I don't care. On my dead home, you gonna read a real nigga? I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Bro, why are you squaring up to me, though? Yeah, I'm not squaring up to you. You want to think I'm squaring up to you? No, no, it ain't going to be no fair fight. You ain't shining in my face, though. Gang, what you going to do? You going to punch, punch me? You going to punch me? No, I'm Because you punch me, it's going to be over. Oh, my dead homies. I'm going to knock some niggas out. I'm going to show niggas I ain't scared of no nigga in this crib. I'm going to beat the dog niggas. I don't give a fuck. We ain't in no box. It's niggas like this that nobody want to be around, bro. I, I I'm sorry, bro. It's really niggas like that that nobody wants to be around, bro. You ruined the whole vibe of the party. Anything goes, and I'm knocking. 
as you can tell, the energy was not just directed at that one person. He went around still crashing on anybody and everyone that was around him. So Prime obviously was not in the good mindset. And apparently that was confirmed later by some other people that he was not in the correct mindset. If you can pick up what I'm saying, because I cannot say it on YouTube. But after oh, this, the person that he had Oh, okay. Okay, bro was off that. <laughs> we had a confrontation with just wanted to leave or wanted Got to it. get away from him because of how he was acting and prime heard that and instead of just letting the guy be and be by himself and recollect himself just so he could be fun he decided to go over there and antagonize him even more i love you bro i don't know what the fuck happened bro because i'm a little you know but as long as i just want to make sure you're straight bro if you're in my crib you're doing my shit i just want to make sure you're good bro um all right, I digress, bro. I take back all I said about Prime. I mean, not really, but I take back the aggression behind it. That's still bitch-ass nigga energy, but I take back the aggression, okay? I take back the aggression. Amazing. You sure? You just wanna, yeah. You're not leaving? No. You just need a second? Uh, I'm gonna leave when I'm like, when they let me leave out. I just, I can't, bro. I can't I can't leave that on my conscience. Bro, it? get this camera the f*** out of here. What exactly bro. happened? Get the f*** up out of here, what bro. What over there pissed, bro. Why? I don't know. Alright, let me look on. So let me go light them up. Why would you do why why? You don't light them up, I'm gonna knock his out. Why 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 sweat? The fact that he's not in the right headspace because he's off the doobies. Okay. Okay. Alright, I take back the aggression. It is still bitch ass nigga energy though. I take back the aggression though. I'm gonna light them up. I'm gonna light them up. I'm gonna lighten them up. I'm gonna lighten the fat nigga up. Like, no. Bro. Just don't go to go. If you're, gonna, if you're not gonna apologize, this is also to Neon's fault for telling him that. Did you stupid? So if you're not. Bro, the nigga's trying to choke me out. In front of what? Huh? Go fat out. Sweater. I'm gonna go to this side. He better have the. Nah, bro. I would have lit that. As soon as he went over to the sidewalk, I would have taken off, bro. Yeah, exactly. I would have taken off too, bro. I'm gonna show niggas how this is. I'm gonna I'm show you what a, a real nigga is. To be honest, Prime is being an asshole for this. Because antagonizing somebody that's already not doing anything to you and literally got in their car so they can get away from you and still pressuring them, it's just straight weird behavior. And I don't understand no, why you can say really it, keep him on the stream after that. Not put him away like he's just a puppet or something. But at least tell him to cool down, leave, get some water in him so he can get back in the right mindset and cool down. But instead of doing that, even chilling out for the rest of the night, they decide to go out and have some more fun. If Are you, you really call it that, oh, Prime would Oh, and that's how he started bumping into real people oh my god what still being an asshole Neon, and antagonizing what is good everyone with you, he ran into and in this at the clip house. i'm about to show you he went around basically bumming into anybody saying that he doesn't show respect for anyone that is white the only time you get respect is when you're black those are his words not mine what the fuck you looking at nigga you with the fat glasses y'all should not have gone in public with this dude bro this is crazy i'm outside come on come on uh, come on I'll show you. Wow. Why are you talking to me? Yeah, I was talking to your I'll meet you outside. I'll knock your ass out. Come outside. I'm outside. I'm outside if you want to know where I'm at. I'm going to knock your ass out too. Oh, you going to beat the dog. This ain't helping, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. If you if you really thought that that white people hated black people, this ain't helping, bro. This ain't helping, bro. You doing this shit is not helping them like you. No white person. No white person. What's up? What you wanna do? What you wanna do? Come outside. Come outside. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No white. I'm not moved for no white people. He is one of the reasons why some people feel justified to call some black people one of the good ones. Because why are you? I just said that, bro. You're not helping it, bro. You're not helping it. I know, like, like, bro, all white people are not racist. We know this. But, like, if there were some racist white people in that crowd right there, like, I hate black people because they always act like gangsters or whatever, you just helped solidify that thought in their brains because of the way you just acted bro are you 
acting yeah. like this, making people I got YouTube like premium, me look finally. bad, bro. Come on now. And even with this type of behavior, everybody around him, you would be thinking, would be trying to get him home so that he doesn't cause any more chaos, cause any more ruckus. But even doing that was nah, impossible. That's, neon, that's it, also Neon's fault for taking this dude out in public when he knew how he was acting at the house. Y'all should have stayed at the outside, house. The little thing that carries luggage for people, he was able to get on and crash into a car. How and the why anybody thing? would let him on there, I couldn't explain to you. But he I do crashed. have a clip to show you so you can see for yourself. Wait a minute, y'all. You guys work here. You're yourself. right there. Tell that nigga to get off. I was talking my drive all around. He not paying me. He not paying me. He not paying This is how you get this is how you get people like Kendrick who say I hate niggas. Kendrick is a black person who says I hate niggas, bro. I'm black too. I hate niggas. And when we say niggas, we don't mean black people. We mean niggas like him. Him. We hate people like him. Or I guess I should point like this. Him. When we say we hate niggas, we don't mean we hate black people. We mean we hate niggas like this, bro. Who make black people look bad? The fuck are you doing, bro? You just crashed into a car, and who are they gonna get? Who are they gonna press charges on for it? The business that you just hopped in their shit and took their car. This nigga's probably gonna get fired. This nigga's probably gonna get fired because he saw you sit on it and didn't do nothing. But he thought, oh, you was just probably sitting on it. Whatever. He not paying. He not paying. He not paying. And the fact that And the fact that he ran this bitch over He not paying Sorry he not pay The fact that he ran this girl over It's like bro What the fuck Oh my god bro Literally sounded like some bowling pins falling on the ground. We need that, <laughs> that sports did. music playing right now. Because that's where that <laughs> belongs. But Brian was okay. And afterwards, they recorded it to show the minimum amount of damage that he did cause to the car. And luckily for them, the owner did not want to press charges. He probably just wanted to get away from the entire situation. I mean, when you're around people acting like this, I could only understand how you would want to leave as soon as exactly. possible. No one wants to be around this group it's of like, people. It's like, man, fuck it. It's not even a big scratch. I'm out of here, bro. I don't want to talk them. to you, It's kind of sad when you think about it. And that didn't stop him. They still did not leave the premises yet and the security there wanted to stop prime and get his id but he didn't have it and he kept telling him he didn't and since prime felt like they were trying to pick a fight with him what does he do in his normal prime fashion he wants to fight back which did not go well with everyone and anyone around trying to stop him Good from Lord, causing a scene bro. or doing something that he would probably regret yeah i don't yeah i don't have a wallet on me that's over nah it's over i don't care i don't care about it I don't care about it. Whoa, nigga. This nigga is, oh my God, bro. You got the cops right here, bro. Literally, niggas, bro. God, this is what I'm talking about. It's niggas like this that make... Kendrick say, I hate niggas. It's, it's, nigg it's niggas like this who make me say I hate niggas. We're both black. This is what I'm saying, bro. We're both black. The only thing is we don't mean all black people. We mean niggas like nah, this, nah, bro. Yeah, so he should not be around any type of substance that makes him act like this. You can clearly tell he's not in the right yo. state of I do, bro. Oh my god. This shit made me mad. Mine, but again, that's not an Prime excuse is for you to be acting this nigga, belligerent. It out like I said, bro. Like I said earlier, I'm trying to scale back the aggression because I know he wasn't in his right mind. 
So I'm only taking the aggression out, but that's still bitch ass nigga energy, bro. Rageous. The point when you He's need this many like people to restrain nigga, you and stop you from a doing something. Nigga. Dumb. But this would continue even when they got off the property because Prime still wouldn't get in the car, but they decided to walk away. It did not go well with them talking to random people that passed by and basically just being a public nuisance that they had to take care of like they're babysitting. Yeah. You look so good. Oh, stop me if you want to. I'm going to knock your Stop. Prime, bro, like, what the fuck are you? Prime, you talk to Cos. I don't care about the vibe. Give me my phone. Yeah, talk to my boy. I know we need to leave. Oh, Imagine babysitting a nigga, bro. Bro, this is all BBL. I think the only one with a real one is this girl right here, bro. Excuse me. That girl in the white dress gotta be BBL. That one right no, there, the gray, that's 100% that. BBL. No. Okay, but I hear you. We're not. First of all, don't do that. Sh First of all, he's reporting to the police that we're walking. No, we're not. We literally just came from the casino. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I have you on camera, anyways. You. And I just want to add that. Okay, let's one one. Let's not act. One, let's not act like y'all are not doing anything wrong. Let's not do that. This nigga is in his right, like, don't get me wrong, I don't fuck with snitches either, but this nigga is in his right to call the cops on y'all dumbasses. Because y'all are, y'all are being a literal public nuisance. That last part of the end of the show, what other people around him were probably thinking, if this random guy that only saw you for a couple of seconds is thinking, man, these guys are obviously tripping out to the point where he had to call the cops, everybody else around him must have been in pure hell because of their presence. And it's not hard to see why. I mean, with the subathon in general, it was just pure chaos because there was nothing planned by Neon, and then Prime crashing out causing them both to get banned because of their actions. It only makes sense. Oh, and Prime I got only banned have one too. more clip to show you, which is Aiden Ross's reaction to this, because he's really good friends with prime and apparently just wanted to give a reason for why he was acting like this all right so my take on this is obviously it's 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 really really sad to me i've known prime for years over 10 years probably more than i've known anyone on this internet I know the type of person he is and he's got a good heart um and i'm not trying to cop him out and shit like that but bro like at the end of the day like this sucks bro it sucks seeing this shit. it sucks him going around saying white people it sucks him going around just people being and at the end of the day, bro, I tell you guys this, bro. This is somebody who cannot. Let me tell y'all something. If it's because he is drunk, if he's tipsy, that means all of these thoughts are his sober thoughts coming out. That's all I'm going to say, bro. Yeah, drunk thoughts or sober thoughts. I, mean, I have no idea how long he's banned for. I have no idea how long he's banned for. It's valid. Don't get me wrong. It's valid that he's banned. Even his close friends understand the ban and respect what's actually happening and going on. So there's no excuse really for Prime. And he has to sit there and wait until the ban is lifted. Now, the ban on Neon is a little bit more questionable, but he wasn't really on his stream half the time. He just let other people be there and basically entertain the chat. Even in those clips you saw where he was banned, Neon is nowhere to be seen. He's not present in any way. So it's crazy that half the time during his subathon, he's not really even there. So it's unfortunate for him, but I guess he'll just have to wait. It was only three days for Neon and prime was not known at the time and i still think it's not known as well at least to my knowledge so that's unfortunate for them but that's just how i feel and if you want to tell me how you feel the best place to do would be the comment section down below because this video is over but if you did like the video then you could definitely subscribe as i upload like this every single week and push that like button because it is free and helps me a lot i would really appreciate it i'll see you guys dog i have no words bro prime is that, oh my god, what a menace.